Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Red Flood, playing as a Kingdom of Italy, which this mod, I'll be honest, is very weird, but we must begin with the Transformismo 36. It's that time again, soon the left wing of the party will hand power back to the right wing once again. Unity and democracy continue apace. Here's to a grand coalition, because we are the PDIU, uh, liberals and conservatives, we're liberal currently. But we have a couple of national spirits that aren't super good. And we're out of fuel, apparently. Bulwark of Democracy, BDIU Hegemony, Vittorio Emanuel, which is pretty good. The Slump, ah, the Italian economy. And then we also have over Overburdened Administration, ah, the Italian bureaucracy. Ineffective Military, ooh, that's not very good. We have the Libyan War, which we're losing guys every single week and losing a lot of war support. And we have the Lagging South. Always a good Italy campaign when you talk about the Lagging South. But I'll be honest, I don't know which way to go. Do you go Christian Socialism? Do we do a Partito Radical, or should we go with a Foregone cor Conclusion? Hmm. I really have no idea what's going to happen. A liberal take Madagascar? All right, then. Uh, policies. That seems. This one seems like has gone forward as a plan. It seems like it's pretty s straight and narrow. Uh, the Italian Radical Party is tr trying on a comprehensive social liberal reform plan. It appears that the moderation of the old party is going right out the window. Social liberal. Huh. Or the Christian Socialism. In spite of Bonomi's treachery, Luigi Sturzo is triumph, leading the Lista Nacional to victory. Now Sturzo could begin implementing the Catholic social teaching in Italy without compromise. The light of Christ will shine through all Italy. A crisis of consciousness. Even though Bonomi, Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Italy, and informal leader of the left wing of the United Democratic Party, gazed out of the crowds milling through the Piazza del Popolo, he took a long sip of his espresso and quickly flicked his eyes over the newspaper in front of him. Lots of political editorials this week, mainly considering the upcoming handover power to Sturzo on the right wing of the party. As he read, he found himself growing increasingly agitated but without any clear reason. What was wrong with him today? He began to understand as he walked back to the Palazzo Chigi. It was that word, the one word that had brought so many Italians to accept and even endorse almost 15 years of PDI. You rule. Democratic. Since the beginning, the trust had been shared, he shared, with Giolitti, and Sturzo had hinged upon that word. It was a word that had brought so many millions of Italians to voting booths to vote for their new party. It was a word that also fueled the meteoric rise of the Partito Radical, split the Partito Socialistica uh, irrevocably, and strangled the Partito Popular in the cradle. Now, this word, this idea, began to itch and eventually to tear the conscience of the man to whom it was so dear. Was this really what he had hoped for? The PDIU was created as a united front against extremist aggression, but accumulated so many of the worst flaws of the Liberal Party. Corruption, cronyism, cynical manipulation. This was becoming the PDIU's bread and butter. Worst of all, though, by taking up the mantle of Italian democracy in the widest way possible, it had become a party of political monopoly, the safe, only safe choice for the Italian people in the world turning away from freedom. Settling into a chair at his office, he removed his private diary from a dro locked drawer. After much soul-searching, he took up his favorite pen and wrote the following, Whatever happens, we must all make sacrifices for the safety of Italian democracy. As far as democracy goes, we must not surrender what that which is most important. Well, we'll choose that one. Oh, what? Does that do something here? Um... Okay, well, we'll see what happens. We already have no focus, but Bonomi's speech. <clears throat> Bonomi stood facing the parliament. Making his speech was a tough decision to make, but he believes it is necessary not only to clear his conscience, but to potentially save Italy from becoming yet another tyrannical regime. He took a deep breath and began speaking. Ever since the end of the Risorgimento and the dawn of the 20th century, the Italian nation has been the defining nation of the world, not necessarily in our actions in a global sense, but certainly in our politics. The end of the Great War saw Europe falling into the clutches of radicals, reactionaries, councils, and accelerationists, but not us. We stand here today as a bastion of beacon and of beacon of freedom and democracy, or at least so we thought. My friends, for a party that calls us de democratic, the practices within it are disrespectful or even insulting to the term democracy. For 20 years, or 12, 12 years, this party hasn't lost a single election, not just because of our fervent opposition to radicals from left and right, but because of the wide range of people it appeals to. This party brings together political factions that would oppose each other if we were left, let's say, the UK or Sweden, or any other still-functioning democracy. And with each victorious election comes the transformato, the prime ministers which switch allegiance between Sinistra and Destra back and forth so that each faction has majority when the turn comes. Many of you refuse to see this, but it has become a one-party state for, more the, for the mere sake of anti-extremism. What has been achieved? It has only allowed for corruption and cronyism to grow. These reprehensible things are rife within the party. Many of you, um, many among you, are only interested in satisfying your insatiable thirst for power. How can there be someone looking at the hands of the ruling and safeguarding the interests of the minority in a country with no real opposition? Because of these reasons, my friends, I declare the PDIU Sinistra will participate in the elections in earnest. We will no longer continue the power-sharing agreement. Following the speech, the entire Italian parliament was in uproar. At first, more conservative members of the PDIU denounced Bonomi. 
Even some of the people on the left shouted him down. Eventually, the outrage spread across Parliament, and even the most cool-headed individuals started shouting and heckling their peers. Some defended Bonomi, but many others criticized him. What the full ramifications of the event will be, it's too early to tell, but it's certain that the situation does not look good for the PDIU. It doesn't look good for any of us. Very good. Hmm. I'd love to go to partial mobilization. Because right now, we are trying to build stuff, but it's not really working. But collapse of the coalition. Chaos has erupted throughout every part of Italy today, following Ivano Bonomi's speech in Parliament, where he out outed the PDIU as an undemocratic and corrupt party. Many believe that that was merely a pretext to refuse to see power to Strudzel. The immediate result of the speech was that what would anyone would have expected it to be. Shouting matches quickly started, with members of the PDIU desperate denouncing and de demonizing Bonomi, framing his actions as a betrayal of the PDIU and the Italian democracy. Though a few hardline members of the left faction of the PDIU, along with parties outside the coalition, supported Bonomi's decision with varying motives and varying intensity. Not long after the speech, though, the party began to descend into utter chaos, with many of its members declaring their departure from the coalition. Perhaps most notably, Luigi Sturzo himself was defected to Lista Nazionale, a controversial move given the party was founded by and composed of many former fascists, most notably Italo Balbo. Similar defections have occurred all across the PDIU as the party came crashing down just like a house of cards. The more left-leaning members of the party have followed suit with some joining the Liberal Partito Radical Italiano and others becoming part of the Social Democratic Party. For the first time in more than a decade, political violence has erupted across the Italian nation. There have been reports of protests, if not riots, across the country. Street fights have become increasingly common, with there even being reports of deaths resulting from clashes between political groups and hotspots of political extremism, most notably in the city of Milan, where a gunfight that broke out resulted in the death of 10 people. Anarchist and syndicalist forces have also exploited the situation, organizing strikes and marches across the country to make the most of the situation ripe with opportunity for spreading support for leftist movements. With such a radical change swiftly taking hold of the Italian nation, uncertainty is spreading, and many look on and fear what the future may bring. The time is coming to decide our fates. Oh boy. So much for hegemony. Oh, so much for political power. Oh wow. Oh, look at this. I love it. Everyone's split. Ah, that feels good. Libertarian Marxist. No one supports the accelerationist group, even though I know that Fiume is like a crazy nation or something. Yeah, they're a bunch of accelerationists, and they're allied with France and the Caribbean. Okay. In 1936 elections, only a few days ago, the future for Italy did not seem to be much different than the years of relative stability and prosperity that Italy had seen under the leadership of the party. The monopoly power held by the PDIU seemed so unshakable that some had remarked that the party could never be overthrown, describing it as a leviathan of Italian politics. And ironically, the statement was only proven to be true. Indeed, no outside force would have been capable of overthrowing the party. Only the party itself could manage such a thing. And following Ponomi's decision to contest the election results and block Sturzo from gaining control of the PDIU, that is exactly what it did. The PDIU exploded from the resulting political chaos. Many of its members joined other, generally more radical parties. An additional consequence has been that many previously minor parties have seized the most the opportunity to gain popularity among the Italian population, some par uh, parading and demonstrating for the cause, others launching campaigns to boost support. The most notable of these parties is Partito Radical Italiano, led by Francisco Nitti and Lista Nacional, to which Luigi Sterzo has defected to. Francisco S Saverio Nitti, the old star world of radical liberalism, has seen growing popularity for its pledges to proactively fix the economy by subsidizing indi individual farmers, centralizing the alliances, reforming currency, and expanding the banking sector. PRI supports a wide range of social and economic reforms, including improvement of the welfare system, industrializing Italian territories in Africa, and expanding rights for women. Perhaps the most ambitious plan is to crack down on the corruption and festering in Italy, and thus help bring about a prosperous Italy Italian self, on par with the economic giants that are the cities like Milan, Florence, and Rome. Moreover, Francisco also aims at regimenting the armed forces by developing the industrial complex, pulling the army around, and coordinating all branches of Italian military. Luigi Struzzo, on the other hand, stole support from the former conservatives who had been radicalized by the destruction of the PDIU, as well as some single-issue voters who tend to be composed of the more religious members of society. Struzzo claims to have reinvested, reinvented his policies, which now include plans to reimplement a socialized economy with a strong emphasis on traditional Catholic values. Lista Nacional has been highly has also highlighted their aim to brutally crack down what has been dubbed the three plagues spot of separatism, corruption, and illegalism. The LN has also promised to build, rebuild the Italian economy and utilize the riches of the colonial empire to elevate Italy to new heights. The fact that this election is essentially the first contested election in Italian politics in many decades has led to massive amounts of political polarization within the country. As the Italian nation stands at a fork in the road, it's only people, it's people can only wait and see what the future holds. Uh, the PRI, LN, well, I'll wait three options here. Hmm. LN. The PRI. Wow, there's a that's a long name there. Um PSRI. Well, considering the the videos I'm doing now, I'm not really sure which one to choose. Um 
Well, I guess we'll choose maybe the LN for now. I, I don't know. I might have to play. I might really have to just try out Fiume and just go crazy with these guys sometime. The Endeavor. The 16th Oregano. Alright, I guess we'll choose Christian Socialism. Okay. Yeah, I already read that one, so... Okay, then. Cool. We'll see what happens. I wish we had a consumer good or a factory to use. What do we have here? The head of the military intelligence. Okay, well, all right. I guess we're going Christian socialist route. Incident in Venice. Luis's departure was overshadowed by a shameful incident in the port of Venice. It's not known why, whether it's another halt on the confusing and inert bureaucratic machine of the Italian state, or due to someone's malicious intent and annoying misunderstanding between the escort of Artiditi, designed to guard the pianist's luggage in the Caribbean... Carabinieri turned into bloodshed and skirmish. Passengers and visitors coming in to cross fire. Panicked and created even more chaos and crowding. Now the Venetian authorities will not only have to deal with the reputational and human losses, but only not only to endure a storm in the press, but also to a trapeze ruler of Fiume. Unpleasant situation and Denuzio demands investigation. The events in Venice has caused a significant resonance in Italy, again splitting the nation into supporters and opponents of Fiume. This time, some people justify the use of violence against officials who appear to have exceeded their authority, while others condemn the psychopathic and inadequate nature of the Fiumeans. But was a distant newspaper chatter for most Italians a depressing headache for the minister, a clock running here and now. The Venetian events were a real cluster bad word of misunderstandings and unspoken, and the minister once again re reflected on the fact that the executive branch needs a total overhaul. The erroneously sent uh, order was confusing and misunderstood, so the justification of the prefect sounded. Of course, this did not explain where the luggage, which according to the police report, she seized during the incident, or where it was, where it went. The only prefect shrugged, and the only thing he could do was to shrug and pr uh, promise composition. This okay will probably not stay in this position long. But that's not the end of the problem. The fuman adventure spoke in his mouth was Enrico Corradini. The respectable writer managed to distance himself with extremists in time of severe, uh, se severe years of public unrest, but maintained friendly ties with De Anuzio. This proved especially invaluable in the absence of formal diplomacy between the two states. This, that is why this morning, Corradini brought a, bring, or brought a letter from the commandanta, of the, to the government of the Kingdom of Italy, demanding to unconditionally admit Italy's guilt in what happened, to conduct an open investigation to punish the entire city administration of Venice, and to pay compensation to the victims of the human side. The proposal has, been, has provoked heated debate among the government, with conservatives strongly opposed. We cannot set a precedent for powerlessness before Danuzio, while liberals are still inclined to accept demands and diffuse tensions. Accept the demands. Reject the demands. I don't think so. Hopefully this doesn't go poorly. I mean, they do, are, they are allied with these guys, which is not good, but... And we do have a lot of less defense than we, we had before, so... We'll see what happens, man. I don't know. Duh. They still control a large part of Africa, so... I really don't know. Is this good path? Is this a bad path? I have no idea. I need to play as Austria. Because we have a certain Adolf. Well, at least at some point, I think you get Adolf. Oh, look at that. We're guaranteeing Austrian independence. More research speed. Thank you. Now I wonder what, wonder what happens. All right. Oh, Luigi. Luigi. The sigh of relief. Italy's conservatives can take all the moments to relax, but no one cannot stop the country's call for a dose of Christian morality to be injected into her politics. About darn time. A Christian socialist Italy. There's only one obstacle to declare to the declaration of Christian socialism in Italy. The LN must have its yearly leadership election. The delegates assure Father Luigi that it's only a formality and expect almost no opposition. Civil War breaks out in the East. Sounds like a lot of fun to me. Can I... We can send volunteers. But... Wow. You got a weird smile, man. I'll be honest. He has a weird smile. Um... Is anyone killing each other yet? Yes, these guys here. Do you want... Do you want... Help? Shang-Chi clique. The sigh of relief. A Christian socialist Italy. Well, we'll see what happens, I guess. Post annexation release events? I think we'll be okay. Yugoslavia is there as well. That's fine. The Hungarian Soviet Republic. Turkey is looking pretty bad. Korean People's Republic. Korea is killing itself. The Third International. And to Mariam, the League Solar, and the Commonwealth of Nations. And, uh, let's see what. Oh, there goes Austria. Ah, Kurt Schlischnig. The Wilhelm Reich, the libertarian Marxist versus the conservative. Mere formality. How before going to the podium? Sturzo was immense in his own thoughts. He was reasonably annoyed, of course. How could this have happened? Luigi was the main reason that Lista Nacional gained this much support, and yet the party almost unanimously voted to give the title of the Prime Minister to Tello Balbo. Almost as if Sturzo was betrayed yet again in such a short period of time, but there was nothing else he could do, so he began speaking. 
Dear citizens, recently our country has been hit by a wave of social and economic upheavals, and the democratic government has done everything in its power to resolve the situation, unfortunately. This effort by the previous cabinet wasn't enough, and it has been decided that in order to resolve the current circumstances, the title of prime minister shall be transferred to someone who we believe has just the right approach to solving existing problems. I hope with all my heart that with a responsible person like Italo Balbo, it would be possible to save our country in these difficult times. God save Italy. After his speech, Suiza withdrew. In, place, in his place came Italo Balbo, who made a fiery speech in which he declared that it was a, that as a sole leader of Italians, he will from now on do everything so that Italy becomes more powerful than ever before, apparently. His irreprehensible charisma managed to get, or irrepressible charisma, managed to get the audience's favor. Long live il Duce! Oh. Well, okay. Well, he's back. Not by marches, but ballots. Fourteen years ago, the fascist marshal on Rome to take the reins of power. What should have been an easy intimidation became a violent street battle, and the fascist movement died in the barricades. Italo Balbo stayed home, recognizing that Italian democracy could be best dominated with its own tools now that he stands as Duce of Italy. It's clear that he was right from the beginning. Well, I guess we've chosen our path. <laughs> God, someone fix the economy. Restore order. The country is outraged at our takeover. Even many who voted for us are shouting for our removal, furious at our deception. We should take advantage of the situation to destroy most of our, our most dangerous enemies, crushing the few to cow the money. We lose some manpower, which is fine. We get more political power and more popularity of despotism. Okay, cool, why not? Sweep the anarchists aside. How much anarchist support is there? Ah, oh, 6%, that's not too much. Famine in parts of Russia. So, we get more stability. Um, libertarian Marxism, huh? Let's do that one first. Break Rossoni. Rossoni was an old party comrade, a brother fascist. Unfortunately, his fellow Bianchi into a degenerate vanguard leftism. Eliminate him, and we won't hear a peep from the rest. Man, I just want to fix the economy. Look at that. Ah, the lagging snail. I love it. Japan falls to revolution. All right. Well, there goes Japan. Goodbye, Japan. Good luck with whatever you're doing. And we are also going down this time with the Grand Battle Plan Doctrine. So. We'll see what happens. Hopefully that's a good doctrine to go down for now, but there are no guarantees. Also, we know if you because we're trying to train the Navy, too. We've got quite a few subs and an okay task force fleet. Wait, 81. That's a lot of destroyers, yeah. That's a lot of destroyers, wow. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Well, Revolutionary Japan. Will the people. Guess we'll have to see what happens. We've got about a week left for this. That's not too bad. Poland. Hey, plays Poland sometime in this mod. I, there's just there's too many different mods, too many different nations to play as. Oh. Still can't build Jack Squad. Oh, Jesus. But hey, we get rid of that person. Now we get 0.5 every single day. Um, head of military intelligence. Uh, can I supply consumption? I don't mind that, but oh, we, that's barely any political power. I want more political power, man. We really could use some political power. We get war support. Um, no. 150 is quite a bit. Um, 150 is still quite a bit as well. But I guess we'll read about this on the Young Democrats. These college students, lawyers, and sons of fat cats have been playing soldier for far too long. Send the army to confiscate their toys. Ah, oh, we love playing with toys. What else do we have down your companies? Mm. I love Beretta. Heavy equipment, Fiat, Lancia, the Summer Coup War. What the heck is that? The Russia, huh? Unfortunately, I'm all out of coffee now, so now I'm big sadness hours. All right. The Young Democrats. No guns for you. Not today. Maybe tomorrow. Probably not. And then, we shall read about the next one, too. Sweep the anarchists aside. The anarchists are not organized enough to call themselves a movement, but it only takes one bomb to kill a nation. What are you waiting for? A, war a warrant? I was, a, I was about to say a woman. <laughs> what are you waiting for? A warrant to go get them. I'll be honest, this is not a lot of um, poverty, popularity, support. Yeah, it's not good. I love this one, though. Even though I don't like losing manpower. Um, do we need any more ships? Because uh, the game, this is what they, we started off with the game. I guess we're building the heavy ship hulls. Um, oh, Ugandans are getting a little uppity. We will show them their place in the world. Please, I just want to go to early mobilization. Oh, and we can't secure the Empire yet, but we'll do that next. Goodbye, anarchists. Goodbye. Secure the Empire. Italy is in our grasp. 
we must now settle the disturbances in the colonies and prepare them for what is to come. We get more despotist support and more stability. Spain is killing itself. Ah, a Spanish civil war. Here lies half of Spain. It died of the other half. Nothing says a good mod like a good old Spanish civil war. I guess we'll probably support. I'm not sure which side we like. I'll be honest. I really don't know which side we like. The social democrat side or the accelerationist side. I don't... I don't want... If we have to fight France, I definitely don't want to fight them. This is probably a bad idea. Maybe we'll support the Social Democratic side, just because we can. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm here to just get like, Army XP. I don't care if we lose. Um, tell the Balbo. There you go. I know you're leading the country, but here. Be a general. Wait, did they say no? They might have said no. Oh, they said yes. Okay. So I, I was only half paying attention. <laughs> uh, let's see. How many planes can we send? Planes... 89. That's not bad. Alright. I'll be honest. I have no idea. Like, my knowledge of Red Flood is so incredibly limited. It's not even funny. It's really, really just limited. There you go. Can we get anything here? Oh, we have no fuel. Hmm. I guess then you have training. It's been literally 10 months. Well, they're almost done. They're almost done, which is good. Mechanical computing. We've arrived. I'm not sure if I really want to help out that much. I mean, this doesn't seem like the right place for us to be. But, you know what? We're going to get involved anyways because we can. Alright. Adela the Battle Boat. We have no one else we can put up here. We have 100 command power. Going to be led by... This dude. De Martini. We'll see. We might make him a Panzer later if he gets enough stuff here. More attacking... Oh, more armor division attacking speed. Okay. More likely to gain attack skill and level up. Oh, I didn't know that one. That's kind of cool. That's actually really cool. Um, yeah, I, I just don't really know. Ooh, this does not look good. Actually, this division template is... Oh, crap. That's not good to send. My bad. Whoops. Oh, boy. That is not bueno. Not very bueno. And, thank you very much. Sweep on side, and let's go to partial mobilization. We still can't build anything. <laughs> God dang it. Then again, why did I send you guys? You have no fuel. Uh, seriously, are you guys done yet or what? Like, come on. You should be done by now. You really should be done by now. No bonus from experience. And we can't even get any more fuel. Um, well, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, good. Get that one then. Good luck, tanks. Good luck. You're here literally just to be a paperweight. That's okay. Crush Mukhtar. You won't. You have to respect the old dude, a real modern Hannibal. Still, he won't join us, so it's only one fate awaits him. It's a shame, but the lion of the desert must die for the greater glory of the new Italian, for the new of, for the new Italy. Send in the tanks. The living war. Okay. Um, you know, just in case, if this actually breaks down an op open conflict, head on down to Tripoli. I don't know, just in case. Let's see what happens. Just kind of hang out there, guys. Don't worry about that. Like, you don't have anything. You don't have enough of anything there, but just kind of hang out for now. Oh, we can't even make tanks. God dang it. That sucks. You're literally just a paperweight. Literally just a paperweight. That you're getting pierced anyways. God dang it. Alright, well, I gotta... Okay, maybe... Okay, leave. Holy crap. That's... How did you... Wow. Okay, so that was a mistake. Um, just stay here then. Yeah, to get out of there. Wow, that was pretty... That's pretty bad. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then direct rule from Rome. There will be no intermediaries between the Duce and the colonies. No ministers or the governors. There's certainly no autonomy. Italy's lands are united now forever. And almost take their orders from one man. Pretty good. Yeah, that was really bad. That was incredibly bad. Yeah, Italy's in extremely terrible shape. Holy crap. You know what? You guys stop doing this. Go home. How much fuel do we get every day? 48. So basically, we get none. You guys are still going on, so you actually should have slightly more fuel now. Is it going up at all or going down? Grand Battle Plan's nice, though. Well, we're not really getting too much here, are we? That's the case. Uh, all but you. You stop doing that, you go home. My bad. Oh, well, whatever. I should have sent infantry. That's my fault. <clears throat> you 
Yeah, I don't want to lose the division, so just kind of hang out here. There you go. Hang out. The air needs a lot more. Oh, we're still changing the air. Yeah. Everything costs so much fuel, man. So much fuel. Go ahead and hold. Oops. That should help out a little bit, right? All right. Well, let's get more war sport. And we remove this thing. So we get, actually, we get 30% more war sport. We lose, what, 50,000 manpower, but that's fine. Well, at least we get that one done. Yeah, Italy's in an extremely bad shape here. Look at that. Nice. It is 37, so let's go ahead and grab some more. Well, I guess that doesn't even matter. Can't even build anything. We got, enough, we got quite a bit of equipment, though. That's actually pretty nice. Direct rule from Rome. Follow it up with what? Culture, not race. If a man speaks Italian, he eats Italian food, and holds his loyalty to the church in Rome, then he is Italian. Italy itself was a desperate mess of cultures and petty warlords. Rome was once a mighty empire of many peoples. So too shall we define Italian by culture, not race. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. It's Syria. Wow, that's a, that's a big Syria. But the Jews are striking back. They don't even have a flag. Is that intentional or... Um, I'm not really sure. Oh, they don't have unique focus. Tree. Darn it. Ah. I would have played them immediately. Oh, they don't. Oh, that sucks. Oh, man. Uh, oh, they actually have Jordan here now. Look at that. Amin al-Husseini. Sinai. Ghazi. Direct rule from Rome. Culture, not race. Can we build anything yet? God dang it. Oh, we have one. We have one. Oh, but then again, I might need a little bit of fuel for everything we're doing here. Hmm. Fuel or building up? Or... or, or Barely building up. I want one thing. Oh, yeah, literally no fuel. All right. Um, Mexico. Mexicans and Italians have always loved each other. Yes. Match it up with trainer guys a little bit faster, right? Are you training any faster now? 49%? 50? Yes. We're getting there. We're getting there. God dang it. That requires so much fuel. I'm going to be like, oh my god, this is such. This is so not good. <laughs> the great speech. Rally the nation. You get more weekly wars part. Stability is not too bad right now, honestly. 1%? That's actually not bad. You lose some constructions, but you get more... You get a lot of... That's a lot of stability. That's actually a lot of stability. I want to do that, but... I want to do this one first. Go to partial mobilization. We technically get more fuel that way. Well, somewhat. And actually, you know what? Get, get one more fuel. Fuel is just the lifeblood of the economy. We It's like we have an oil crisis right now. That's so much better to have. Oh my goodness, so much better. Culture, not race. And then economic questions. The questions of economy are manifold. However difficult it may be to answer them, answer them. We must. So we're going to get... Wow, actually, I, I thought it was 5%. No, it's 15% non-core manpower. That's actually pretty nice. The industrial problem. The farming problem. The financial problem. The trade problem. Let's start with the farming problem. That seems like the crux of everything. The farms of Italy are vital. They feed their people, armies, and nation. But they have a litany of problems to solve. Followed up with the industrial problem, the financial problem. The industrial problem. Italy's industry is deeply flawed. We must take care of it, remedy it, nurture it to health. But how? How will we achieve that? That is a good question. You guys should be getting done, right? Ooh, oh, we have 100. Some PP? Oh, yes. Well, let's go ahead and grab this. A great speech. Words of power. The words of our glorious leader have the most power. A great speech in a common square is cathartic. Cathartic. Unveiling and cleansing all social ills. Yes. That's actually really strong. Hopefully we can get a whole bunch of stability here. Whole bunch. That's all. That's very strong. That's good. Um, fuel wise, air is taking a little bit, but really the navy that's trying to finish it all off, finishing off what we have. Just train until you're done. Are, are you close? Oh, they're, they're getting. They're going quite quickly now. Look at that naval XP too. Yeah, Italy is an issue. Culture, not race. Export focus is okay, and volunteer only. Eh, it's alright too. The industrial problem followed up with. Oops. The financial problem, the trade problem. The problems that come with international trade are quite irritating. We may need to do some serious work to fix them. Reward little subjects, land reform. Oh, that's a lot better. Subsidies for farmers. So when removed, you get... Oh, that's really good as well. So we need to get some more PP. 7% um, recruitable population, 5% consumer goods for both of these. Construction speed, 5%. Construction speed, 10%. Let's do subsidies first. And then we'll do land reform. I think that'd be quite bueno to do. There we go. Subsidies first. Yes, yes. Even though this would actually... Ah, that improves you immediately, though, so my bad. Whatever. 
And some of you guys should be getting close to done, too, right? Oh, yes, you are. You're almost done. Some of these guys are. No bonus from experience. Well, that's just because of what it is. 94%, 95%. We barely have any fuel, but whatever. And then the trade problem very soon. And then the financial problem. Italian finances are poor, to say the least. A weak currency. Endemic corruption. Who knows what else? We have to fix them. We have to. Have to, have to, have to, have to. Hefty, 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 hefty. Uh, expand the military complex. You get more military factors, probably. Exploit... Oh, I love exploiting Africa. Interventional looks. That's not bad, but for 70 days... Infrastructure construction speed is okay. It's not really worth it right now. Factory output's pretty decent, but do we really need that? And the civilian factory construction speed's not bad. Module land reform next. That's actually really, really strong. Minus 5% more is more... But oh, we're making some fuel. Would you look at that? Yes. How are we doing over here? The enemies are not fielding any sort of planes. Okay, then. Actually, go to the center, then. You might actually be able to hit some more guys. Uh, better range and such. Um, yeah. I should have sent some infantry. Can I actually send someone else now? No. God dang it. And you can't recall volunteers, which is stupid, but whatever. Land reform. Yes. We can actually build. Yes. Yes. The financial problem. Yes. We actually get a decent amount of political power every single day now. That was actually not too bad. Um, yeah, because you guys only have, like, <laughs> less than 10 organization. Holy crap. That's so bad. So bad. Uh, let's see. Everything else is 37, of course. There's not really much we can do here yet. Yeah, grab that. Maybe we'll grab some carriers, too. We'll see. Encourage religious trade unions. God, nation, and unions. These are what should up underpin the Italian country. And we cannot separate any of them. Ooh, here are consumer goods. But get more political power, so... And get more construction speed. For 1% consumer goods, I'm okay with that. That's a, that's okay trade-off. <sighs> Trying to make Italy a great nation is... Impossible. <laughs> what if I sent you somewhere else? Like, uh... It looks like you guys could get hit down here. I'm only going to help attack if you, these guys are attacking, so... Yeah, actually, we might just lose a division here. It is what it is. It's not that much of a division anyway, so. The financial problem. Encourage religious trade unions. Yes. Oh, there we go. Uh, regulate banks. Ooh, I like bank regulation. Ooh, I like this one too. More construction speed too. Oh, but exactly the same. Let's regulate the banks first. Or stop the pirates. We get more naval speed, which is okay. Um, yeah, let's, let's regulate, the ba regulate the banks. We're bringing Italy back. Fertility incentives. Ah, oh, we love making babies. We need to encourage Italian women to have more children to increase the number of new Italians being born. Great. I'm not sure what else to say, but great. Oh, we actually have something here? Okay. Oh, battleship. Nice. Throw them right there. We'll probably split that faction there, too. If you need to train, finish training for now. And you guys as well. If you need to train, go right ahead. Because a lot of you guys are almost done, actually. So, well, that heavy cruiser is not, but whatever. The Hobbit is published. I want a copy of it now. Oh, did we? Oh, well, the division died, I guess. My bad. That's I didn't realize that happened, so. My apologies, we lost the tank division, but honestly, that tank division was so bad, you might as well have just deleted it early on, so. All right, let's go on back. I'm not sure. Yeah, I guess we can't help the other side, so whatever. You guys are still here, though. Um, 37. Well, I did want to use some casts. I don't think we have a lot of casts, though. Oh, uh, yeah. I think it's in. All right, not bad. There you go. go. All right, it is still 37. Let's grab some... I, I, I have a problem right now. I love carriers so much. I love them too much, probably, honestly. Um, Rubber. Yeah, we could probably use more rubber from that type of stuff. All right. Not bad. And fertility incentives. A conference with His Holiness. The Pope has invited me to speak with him. Perhaps we can gain his support and mass popular legitimacy. I really had no idea what I was getting myself involved with here with Italy. I think someone wanted me to play Italy. I don't think I'm choosing the route the person wanted me to go, but I don't know. We'll see. Are they attacking us here? Come back down here. Teach these people a lesson. You kill off a tank division, we're going to kill every single last one of you Spanish people off. Except for the good Spanish. The good Spanish, yes. The good Spanish. Uh, Fuel-wise, how's it looking? Not bad. Not bad. And uh, you guys do this as well. Now I was going to suck up so much fuel. Holy crap. Hey, but we're actually defending successfully. And are we getting... We're getting just a little bit. Not a much. Not a lot. But we're getting a little bit. As well as air XP as well. 
Good. Totally good. Ah, don't you love it when you have to make a lot of babies? Thirty seven, so I really don't know what's gonna happen here. Oh, also resist it. Another twelve combo whip. That could be a lot worse. And they, they do have engineers, so that's not terrible. Uh just keep holding on, guys, keep holding on, and then well we're slumming it up with the Pope. The Pope and the Pope loves us. We pope around with him all day. And the slump. Ooh, what type of slump are we talking about? Holy bad words. Holy bad, bad words. 25%. Yeah, we gotta get rid of that immediately. That's the next one we gotta do. 400 political power, that's not bad. That's actually really good. Oh, look at that. They're really killing themselves. We have 1.17. Nice. Prepared defenses are nice. Very good. Let's grab some Grand Assault. A Grand Armada. 37 still. We're still doing that. Retreat stuff. Anything down here, charts, that we really need to talk about? No, not really yet. I might choose cruisers. Light chips are really easy to make, though. So, I don't know. Destroyers are always so easy to make. The Great Speech. Hey, 92% stability. That was really worth it. Holy crap. That's a lot of stability. The Troublesome Priest. Yesterday, our great leader, Talo Balbo, had a meeting with the Holiness, the Pope, and the Vatican. Balbo is a great follower of the Catholic faith and the teachings of His Holiness, but apparently we cannot capitalize on seeing Catholic, and it's often said that it's shameful the way the government of the Kingdom of Italy has treated the Pope for so many years. So in order to finally solve the bad relationships between Italy and the capital of the Catholic Church, Balbo today has offered the Pope a deal, which he calls the Santa Maria Treaty, in which the Italian government agrees to recognize the sovereignty of the Vatican and to make some payments to the Vatican for all the damages done during Rizag... Resorgimento. Even though no reports were allowed inside the Vatican during the negotiations, rumors indicate that His Holiness was quite, quite happy after the negotiations. Even the Pope loves Italo. Who doesn't love Italo? The question for supremacy. Italian supremacy is inevitable. It's just a matter of getting there. I really, what have I got myself into? De, uh, develop national strategies. We must have strategies for war on the national level. So soldiers deployed to Libya know the role just as well as a social station in Rome. That's actually not bad. 50%. 50 more is actually really, really strong. We're getting there, my friends. We're getting there. I swear we're getting there. Hey, 15 and none? Hey, could be a lot worse. Actually, you know what? Let's not do the next focus. I want to get this one as fast as possible. End the slump. Ah, very good. 120 days. That's a long time. But develop national strategies. Oh, now they're really, they're, they really want to kill us. Reforming the reforms. Reforming the forces. <clears throat> Oh, this is a lot better. Or quite a bit better. The armed forces of Italy need reform, and fast. We were less than effective in the Great War, and war is changing even faster than before. And we get a whole plus point uno division organization. Plus point uno. Wow. That is a whole lot of uno. Alright, so you're not really learning much yet. How about you, Francisco De Martini? You're good on an attack, but anything else, it's kind of like... Oh, yeah, we are starting to lose a little bit more and more and more. Cordoba, they've got to be paying a heavy price for this. All right, you guys are still training because of these guys here too, huh? Actually, you know what? Stop training. You guys do that. Go home. Because we have two battleships anyways. Go home. Develop national strategies. Very nice. Get some more fuel. Reform the forces. That's fine. S suck on that stockpile of fuel for now. And happy 1938, everyone. I hope we're ready for war whenever it happens. I really do. Purge the commanders. It has dawned on us that there are certain bullheaded commanders who do not want to change. Remove them. And get a whole plus point one division organization again. Great. Even though we get rid of it for a while, too. Okay, that's not good. Um, who's next? That's okay, that's not really what we're doing right now. We could really use slightly more fuel and rubber. Like, really, that's not too bad, but... Uh, fuel so needed, man. It's so needed right now. Factories? Honestly, we don't have enough, like, stuff here. We don't have enough steel. Or, I guess, yeah, steel. So even getting more factories really won't solve a huge problem right now. We really need more steel. Hmm. Let me go that one first. And we'll purge commanders in the Great Conference. Okay. Beginning phase. Secure the frontiers. Yeah. Okay, we have actually 30 naval XP. That's not too bad, actually. Alright, so you guys are almost done. Go back. Train what you need for now. Deck conversions are nice. We're going to grab the next one, too. Because you know what's... Oh, we could... There's not a there's not a massive difference between the first level of carriers to the second level. So let's take a look at it real quick. Experimental carriers, I don't... Actually, I never use these ones. They have one, two, three, and that's all you really need. And these guys have one... None! Oh, that's really bad. Okay. Yeah, these ones are better. Definitely better. Um, Because you do get something else unlocked. <sighs> Is it worth trying to produce it now? Not really, no. It's not worth it. Just because we have all these other ones here we got to deal with as well, so... 
You guys are here to learn. The Great Hamburg Dock Strike. Barbarians. The whole lot of them. Report of the General Army Staff. Report of the Naval Staff. Report of the Air Staff. Incentives to serve. Not, nah, that's not great. That's okay. Performing the forces. Project Commanders. Follow up the Great Conference. Vatican th vacant throw no longer. Oh, look at that. Cool. A great conference of all of our military staff shall fix the problems that still plague us. No. Who, who's who's living here? The Russian state. Sergei. What we worry about him? Please go ahead. And then you have the Russian state. Uh, Baidalakov. Alright, well, whatever. How are the planes doing, actually? Can we throw any more... Yo, yes, we can. We're doing quite a bit of air damage, which I love. So you're done there, which is great. Anyone else here need to do anything else? No, that's awesome, awesome, awesome. Got it, just hope we can fix the economy fast enough. Alright, we've got 64 here. Um, military factories, I do want to build as much as, as fast as possible, but... Let's go and do this one first. We want those military factories. Even though it doesn't help us that much, we'll still take them. I might literally just go down to export focus next to you, so we'll see. Uh, 38. Uh, we're going to use destroyers, that'll be good to do. Running out of fuel, so be it, so be it, so be it. How many have we lost here? 3200, that's not terrible. Can we actually help out and win here, maybe? Maybe. Purge commanders, though. And then, the Great Conference. Eh, eh, not looking great. Oh, but maybe, maybe. I don't know. I just we just need a lot of army XP, so we'll do the best we can. Oh, I don't know. Oh, maybe it's red, but still going up slightly, 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 slightly. Are they doing force defense here? No, they're not. They're not. Sixty-nine is nice, but still, but still. All right. Stop the pirates. International works. Oh, let's grab that one next. We uh, slightly more fuel. Slightly more. What is it? Rubber would be super nice to have. So it went down again. So let's stop attacking. Okay. Yeah, let's stop. Let's stop. Let's stop. Hey, but fourteen air speed. Not terrible. Not terrible. I might actually send you guys up this way too, because you, you're just going to get hammered. You're going to get hammered a whole lot up there. You're not really learning anything, are you? Alright, so we're going to do the Great Conference. Rifle and Cannon. A lot of blueprints here, it looks like. Land action would be nice. Research speed. 10%? Not bad. Naval Staff. Uh, national Shipyards. Sector Development. Which wouldn't be bad. Really, I want us to focus more on the Army, realistically. Winning the Air War is okay. This was okay. That's not bad. Uh, tactical bomber production? I was, I was going to use strategic... Uh, close air support, I mean. Oh, that sucks. I've already started kind of doing that. Um, okay, so I guess we'll report to the Army General Staff. We now have received the report of the Army Staff. Okay. There you go, go on in. Up next, let's go ahead and do... Inter uh, oh, we can do that again. Stop this one. We can grab the Naval XP. Uh, civilian factory construction speed. Let's keep building that one up first. There you go. And since we're here, I know we should be building more military factories right now, but do that one. Ding dong. Go. Faster, faster, faster. God, I just hope our army's ready. Uh, I haven't been even making any troops, which is actually really bad. You guys are 7-2s. That's actually not too bad. Um, there, you there you go. Yeah, my bad. I've spent this entire time not even making divisions. Oh boy, that's not smart. It's alright though. We'll, we'll do okay. Hopefully. Hopefully. The Great Conference. 12 days left. Not bad. And plane-wise, how are we doing? Do we have too many planes here? Do we not have enough planes? What's going on? Uh, oh, it's a 175. Okay. Not bad. Hey, there we go. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Come over here and grab some of this. More soft attack. So now we, we can put that in production for now. It should be more than fun enough. And we do have enough of this as well. I always like getting a little bit of deck armor just because if, it get, if, it, if your carry gets touched a little bit, it dies. It literally just dies. And I don't like that when it happens. Cool. This stuff will be done hopefully soon enough, but... A great conference. Begin, beginning phase. Pietro Bagdoglio Gilo, was in his office when he received orders from El Duce. An hour later, he was driven to the designated location by Shafur in 45 minutes. The marshal was finally able to see it. It was an extensive complex, covering perhaps a several couple acres, counting both the building itself and the outdoor plaza and recreation area. The building itself was rather simple and plain, built by architects that favored sustainability and efficiency rather than beauty. As soon as his chauffeur stopped the car in front of the plaza, he walked out of the car and into the plaza. Bado Gillo was greeted by the staff of his building, who then ushered him into the structure. The staff gave him a brief tour of the building, designating him where everything was at. The kitchen, washrooms, bathing centers, the sleeping quarters, everything to ensure that one could live in relative comfort here. Once the tour ended, the staff finally guided him to one final room, a large room with a panel roof. In the room were numerous desks and tables, most covered in large boxes containing a forest worth of papers and files. Others were covered in maps of various areas of the world and had small figures dotting on them, or dotted on them. The only... 
the only clear table was in the center, one that would be used for meetings around said table. Still, the finest military minds Italy could offer, Badoglio included. They were all here due to a single order by El Duce Balbo to devise new and infallible war plans that are used or to be used in Italy's future wars of conquest and bring glory to the peninsula and the government that rules it. There was a pregnant silence in the air for a few moments, and then Marshal de Bono spoke up. Well, now that we're all here, let's get to work. We don't want to keep El Duce waiting, do we? El Duce with two L's. Oh my goodness. Uh, land action next. Learn from the Prussians. The Prussians forged an empire, survived a revolution, and still stand strong. We should learn from their best. Yes. Yes. Please learn something. Please. Are you learning anything at all? You're barely learning. <sighs> Please educate yourself. Purge it off says it's good to get rid of. Nice. Lagging south? Well, it's not as great as it could be, but it's not too bad. Passive ID is looking not too bad. Inflating the birth rate. Oh, man. We're making a lot of babies here. And an ineffective military. That's not bad. Wait, we get more? That's not bad, actually. I like that one. Military factories would be extremely crucial, but I want more resources. More natural resources. We'll get more as time goes on, but still. Still. I think the next one we'll do is the other one. Um, get more military factories. That's actually really strong. Then. If we keep doing that one, that's actually really, really, really strong. Even though we don't have the resources to build them. Biders, we do just need some carrier planes for stuff, I know, but still. A culture of innovation. We must forge, forge a culture of innovation. Throw up the old, bring in the new. 10% is actually pretty good, actually. Uh, so that's good. That's okay. Sonar would be good as well. And we'll get some planes. I do know we need some planes here, too, so. You can actually win. Yeah, you can. Not bad. Not bad. We have quite a bit of army speed. So since we're here, we have the, do, uh, these guys are not bad. I want to make sure that these mountain... Oh, boy. Okay, so we do that one, maybe? We don't have enough artillery for it, realistically, so. Now, if that's the case, come back down here. Artillery-wise, where are you? There you go. Share the steel, maybe, a little bit more? Uh, hmm. These suck. These tanks, they need so much work. These guys are actually really not bad. They're actually quite good. How much support equipment do we have? Will we have enough for this? Yeah, we will. That's good. Make them just as twenty strong 20 combo width. Um, that's fine with right now. For you guys... Do this. Oh, wait, what? Militia with tank recon? That is interesting. Alright then, alright. That's fine for now. Um, yeah, we need more. I'm going to trade for more tungsten then. Or steel. Let's get some more steel. Steel is pretty good. Uh, who do we like? I guess you guys, maybe? We'll trade for two. We still need to build stuff up, so. One, two is not bad. How are you guys doing? National works are gone. That's not great. Goodbye, National Works. Anything else here? No. Alright then. So let's come back over here and finish training you. And 188. There you go. Not bad. Pretty darn decent. We're doing four and a half damage every day. Not bad. Computing machine is very good. Get some radar too, so we can throw that on our ships eventually. Even though I do know we need the second level as well. Uh, culture of innovation, yes, please. Okay, so up next. I say we get the military factories, so. Even though we could do stuff, stuff here too, as well. Uh, it's not really worth doing it right now, though. Economic minister. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's not, it's not worth it right now. It's just really not, so. They're killing each other, military staff. No one there. Okay, there's no one here. The Great Conference, second phase. A few months have passed, but do but do the high command, it felt like years. Longer they removed the stuffy military uniforms in favor of wearing much more breathable short sleeve shirts. But it did a little with the heat. They have tore the papers from their boxes and poured over them as their sweat dripped and stained the papers. Ashes and half-drunk bottles of alcohol were scattered across the room in a rancid combination of sweat, cigarette ash, coffee, grounds, and stale liquor had long since created a foul odor that is spared across the complex. <clears throat> Marshals Messi and Gaziani would get into an argument about the ideal formation of a particular combat situation, but both were too tired to go to any length beyond that, and the argument ended with both of them carrying open new bottles of scotch. Each one of them were beginning to develop bags under their eyes they spent one too many restless nights subsumed in their work. For once in their lives, each member of the high command, they were all beginning to regret their choice and career. What are they me? God, please save us from this heck. Of course, I didn't join the military, but still, whatever. Uh, that stuff is okay. We can kind of wait. I really don't mind doing this stuff, but... Actually, let's get this one first, because I want to see what this naval sector development is. We have re now received a report from the naval staff. Well, eventually. What is this? Are you not? Well, I guess our plans. Not, you don't really learn, I guess, a lot on the planes, but still. Uh, anything there? We're still getting more fuel, which is super nice. Keep training more guys, guys. Keep training, keep training. We need an extremely experienced air force. How much manpower does both sides have? That's a really cool flag, I'll be honest. That's a really cool one. 
Uh, they have almost no manpower left, and you guys have quite a bit more, so they will do okay, probably, but they're on extensive conscription, and you guys are on limit- Oh, limited conscription. Interesting. Interesting. A culture of innovation. Stop the pirates. Uh, let's do that one. I don't do the intervention as works. It's, it's not really worth doing, but 15% is really good, actually, and get even more factory output, which we could use immediately, honestly. That's actually not too bad. We're trying to build our industry up as fast as possible, as you can tell. Up next, naval shipyards. A shipyard needs to be expanded in order to supply our ever enlarging army. Or navy. Yes. For the navy. A good old navy. Oh! Oh! What's going on? And up, up, up. Are you kidding me? Anarchists rise up? What happened here? Oh, crap. Okay, this side's definitely going to lose then. Oh, Jose Diaz, I guess. Welcome back. That is it. You have some turkey neck going on, but you have a nice face. Other than that, you have one heck of a buck chin. Uh, why did you rise up? You're now, you're gonna, are, are you gonna lose now or something? Or, uh, did they rise up here too? They might have, okay. If they rose up as well, that's not too bad then. R Ramos. Oh, wait, Vanguard Socialists versus Revolutionary Anarchists versus Vanguard, wait, Vanguard Socialists, Revolutionary Anarchists. There's two Vanguard Socialists here. Uh, um, I don't want to support anyone now. <laughs> I don't like this. What do we get ourselves involved with? Oh, I don't even know anymore, man. All right, 200 now. That's nice. That's good. Hey, after Sona, now we can make some pretty good destroyers. Uh, that one, we can do that while we're at war, pretty much. We can kind of wait on that one. Um, actually, ooh, we could do some destroyers. Yeah, yeah, we could do that too. Yeah, 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 I see. We'll get some carrier planes. Can you guys actually win there? Yeah, you actually might be able to. Cool. National shipyards. I want to see what that's like first. And motor mechanization. Let's do it. Rifle and cannon because we could use the blueprints. The rifle, cannon, carbine. The marching soldier under the roar of guns. That is what war is. Oh, now you're losing. But now you're winning. Losing, but winning. Yes. Learn. Infantry leader. Finally, he's learning something. He can learn. He can find it. Oh, cynical. Oh, there goes. Okay. Um, well, okay. I don't want to make any extreme moves. You know, I'm going to retreat down here first for now to help, like, kill a lot of these guys off if possible because they are mountaineers. Don't get me wrong. Let's help the pirates. No pirates here. No, 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 no. No pirates. Oh. Uh. I think I know how to do that already, game. Sorry, but I, I, I might know how to do that already. Oh, you guys are... Oh. Well, that kind of sucks, guys. Um, you're... No, politically connected. God dang it. A Toro Troli Troilo. Cool. And we have some dudes. There you go. Train yourselves. If you can. The Great Conference final phase. Italo Balbo, Duce, and the undisputed ruler of Italy. When going through the newest speech of his writers typed up for an upcoming public appearance when someone suddenly barged into his office, uninvited and unexpected. The man in question looked to be in his 60s, reaching his 70s. He wore a decorated military uniform, showing him to be a respected and influential member of Italy's armed forces, but Balboa had difficulty recognizing him at first. Dark circles had developed under his eyes, and his complexion was paler than from his many days staying entirely inside. He gave Italo, uh, Balbo a tired smile and began to speak. Apologies that I couldn't contact you earlier, Il Duce. Marshal Bado Gillo said, Our phone lines were damaged. What I'm here for on behalf of the rest of the high command is to say, Italy is now ready for any conflict should that should come to it. At long last... Cool. Uh, we're not done with any of this stuff here, but okay. Okay, that's good. More attack and defense. Yeah, we'll take that. Definitely. Definitely, 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 definitely. So now, assault. We're not really using tanks here. We get five more organization. So ten more organization for infantry. Down here, you get five. And less of pocket assumption, which I love. And more land attack, which could be really beneficial. So you get ten organizations as well. And less of pocket assumption. And we're using recon anyways. We'll go infiltration. Cool. Very, very nice. Oh, you guys are down here. Help out the guys down here, because that's actually really strong. If you can kill these guys off, that'd be really good. Get rid of all the little puppets here first, I guess. I don't know. We'll see what happens. And national shipyards. Thank you very much. Rifles and cannons. A rifle and cannon. There you go. Go on in. Thank you. And follow up with specialized companies. Let's do a report of the air staff. You have now received the report of the air staff. I guess. Uh, they should have that done over there on the right side. We'll trust them for now. We'll see, but we'll trust them for now. Oh, Biff. Jesus. Average organization is 30... Th fluctuating. Did they just lose? Okay, they're attacking us, which I'm, I'm actually okay with, but... National works are gone. Got oh, our PP died. Oh, we're gonna spend... Oh, look at that. Now, that's actually not too bad. That's actually really nice. Can you I don't think you guys can actually win here, can you? 
Average strength is 80%. Average supply status is 19. Average strength is slowly going down. Maybe? 19, 79, 19. 19, 78, 19. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, we're going to need a few of these guys, too. So, there you go. I'll get rid of the next one, too. It's almost 39, too. Wow. I mean, if you try to attack, you're probably going to lose him. Or, or not, maybe. Hold on, I'll see. Uh, put it, air stuff. 24. Tw this is strange. But 1 versus 13. Okay, then. Very nice. Oh, wow. They are going to get the goober smacked out of them. All right. Let's go over to you. Uh, or here. Specialized companies. Let's do motor and mechanization. The hull shall be replaced with a car. The knight's plate with a mechanized troop carrier. Very nice. Oh, they're really coming, breaking through here. We really got to get rid of these guys as fast as possible. Okay, so you guys are in there. It's not bad. Um, they're really attacking over there. So come down here to help out defend. That'd be nice. Because Actually, if we can go here. We can eliminate like four more divisions. That'd be pretty good, too. I don't know. I mean, as long as we get more army XP and air XP, that's all I really care about, so. All right. The modern cavalry. Crush the enemy enemy beneath the treads of tanks as the hooves of the mighty steeds once did. Yes. Good. It's 39. Happy 39, everyone. Let's get some more output. We need way more artillery. That's okay. We always need more artillery anyways. Um, steel could be really good. Lower that by one, then. 1.33 every day. Not good enough. Becoming hill fighter. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Yeah, the modern cavalry would be really good. Are we... Here, our economy is just not great. Italy, why? Training, we need to. Um, any other planes here? Train if you need to. Any other guys? Close air support? Yes, train them as well since we do have the fuel for now. Train them, train them, train them, and duplicate it. I don't care if you take any losses like that or anything like that. We need more. We need more, 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 more. Oh, we are losing definitely this war. Yeah. With these guys rising up, that basically killed us off. But it's alright. We don't like any side here. Except I really don't want France to get stronger with an accelerationist group over there, so yeah. Uh, and uh, just, I, it might be a waste to do this one, but I want to be able to build. I want more factory output. Like I want us to push out as much equipment as possible. We got plenty of guns for now. Motorized support equipment. Light tanks even are looking good as well. But getting more equipment out right now in the field, I think, is for the best. Hopefully, we don't have to go to war with anyone immediately. There you go. This is for all for the carriers that'll be built someday. <laughs> someday. Oh, well, he's still learning. He's becoming a trickster too. Nice. The modern cavalry followed up with what? Specialized companies. Specialized companies that perform highly specific tasks will free up other men from doing that work, allowing them to do a better job in the field. We could get more military factories. I think what right, next we're gonna try at least getting one of those uh, other ones. The naval dockyards. Naval dockyards. Good, good, good. So now grab that one too, just in case, because you can. Oh, maybe we get, we get better guns too. We get better guns. Yeah, well, he's learned definitely a lot more than the last time we saw him. Our supplies getting a little better. Yeah, this, this state's going to die. It's just 100% going to die. There's nothing we can do about it. Oh, my back. Oh, baby. <sighs> Gotta love this Spotic. Acceleration is sound. Giacomo Balta. Bala Balta. Cool. And then follow it up with the necessary bases. We need more bases and more places to supply our navy. Pretty much. And we'll grab one of these next. Uh, let's grab the most expensive one, maybe. This way we don't have to grab the most expensive one next time, too. Oh, my gosh. It looks like we could probably get actually cut off here, which would not be very good. Head on over here to help out. Well, we have 18 army XP. It could be worse. could be a lot worse, actually. Um, the Shaman Empire's gone, huh? Well, I can't do that. That kind of sucks. Uh, but for the elite guys, throw in some these guys. Since we're using it anyway, so there you go. If you lose, these guys die, maybe? They might actually literally die. Well, at least, at least he's loading. There we go. And, oh. Oh, we need more command power? Wait. 50 command, we have 150. 80? Um, is that bugged? That looks a little bugged or something. What's wrong with this? Okay. Wait, it says positive. Well, I guess we'll do that one then. Alright, well, whatever. Oh, yeah. I don't want to lose another division here, so just get out.
re-examine the doctrines, I can kind of wait. I don't want to lose any more political power, but winning the air war. The Great War showed everyone the power of these planes. We must exploit it. Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah, you're here just in case. Can you actually attack and do well there? Yeah, you might be able to widen this up just a little bit more. Ah, yeah, these guys are going to die. That's so sad. Then again, we're not vanguard as socialists, so... They have a lot more manpower than before. And you guys have none, so... I guess we'll wait and see. But at least we've got 117 uh, political power. Or, air XP, I mean. Air XP. What's the next one done? I just hope that we'll do okay. I don't. I, I really have no idea what's going to happen. But, like, in the future. But, armored operations? Sure, why not? Oh! Oh! Okay, well, I found out what happens. Wait, so, that's unfair. We don't even get, like... To do anything about that? Wait. Weren't these guys are puppets too? Well, I guess we're at war with France now. Well then, that was, I'll be honest, a little unexpected, but maybe I should have seen that one coming, I guess. Um, so much for having fuel. There you go. Have a good time. And, uh, yeah. Well, that's not good. That's very not good. Um, yeah. Well, then. Well, these are boys are coming back home, I guess. Hopefully we can hold in the Alps. That'd be good if we could. Well, then. Well, if it doesn't go well, I guess I'll have to restart some of this, but still. Uh, we should have enough divisions to hold here, realistically. Well, somewhat realistically. I'm gonna take you and go over there. Uh, that's the case. Actually, not good. Go ahead and deploy them early. There you go. We have enough guns, I'm not really too worried about it. Uh, it's pretty where you need to go. That's not good. I just want to help our, help our guys over there. Oh, look at that. Well then. Oh, crap, they're trying to... Oh, they were... Oh, my goodness, that's so bad. Um, that's the case, yeah. Oh, well, maybe we'll end it end the episode here after we choose like something like this but hey okay then uh, you know what let's read a few more of these uh when uh, air war aid from above soldiers on the ground need artillery why not have hyper mobile artillery in the form of planes believe in the bomber believe in the bomber trust in high explosives we will crush our enemies beneath tons of ordnance crush the supply chains crush them destroy their terrain their rails roads cities they will be bombed back to the stone age and we will face and we'll face our glorious firearms with flint kit nappings and the design board, the naval design board of Italy shall ensure that we have up-to-date, if not ahead of the time, designs. The next generation of ships is coming. Let's embrace the new radical designs to examine the doctrine. The doctrines of our navy exist for a long time. This is precisely the way they must be changed. Additional naval ch college funds. The naval college must request more funding to train more officers. This must be granted. Uh, it's very weird that we didn't even get a say when they're going to attack us, but hey, regardless, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Wow. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow when we're going to really struggle against it France. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.